What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. I'm going to start a little bit of a new kind of series where I'm going to start covering some very extreme horror films. And yes, your boy Rad, I just wanted to torture my, torture my viewers and torture myself by, you know, in this month of November, tackling some of the most extreme horror that I've ever seen. These are the films that are like some of the hardest to watch. And in my opinion, like I said, the ones that kind of got to me that had my stomach turning and all that stuff and today we're actually going to start off with one that I think is a very good film but this is a film that is very like I said very rough and very hard to watch but I would recommend everybody see this film because I think this is a really fantastic film it's really great so today we're going to talk about Irreversible directed by Gaspar Noah so let's do it roll it <laughs> So Irreversible is a 2002 French film. This is considered a art house like kind of thriller film. It's very like in terms of the content though and the way it's handled, it's very horrific. And the director is Gaspar Noé. And if you're not familiar with his content, he does some very risque, artsy type films, but stuff that he does to really kind of, you know, play with the senses and kind of get to his audiences. And this is the perfect example of one of those films. This film follows two men who tr go out for revenge after a woman, a young woman they love, is brutally attacked and essayed. She is attacked and, of course, sexually assaulted in this film. And yes, that is probably one of the roughest scenes to watch. But the two men go out for revenge and this film, of course, irreversible. The story's actually told in reverse. So that's what's kind of interesting is you get the end of this film first and every scene that you see after that is the scene that previously came before that, you know, you know, that event. So you go all the way backwards and it's pretty wild, this film. Like I said, in terms of the way that it's handled, the way that it's edited, the continuous shots, the long one takes, it's very much a mood and it's a film that sucks you in. And like I said, that's what that's why they consider this an art house thriller type film is because the way the movie's filmed. Also, Gaspar Noé did a lot of stuff where he played with the sound of this movie and the music. So there is actually a sound effect an undertone that is played throughout the entire film that's actually designed to kind of make you sick. That's what the sound is and the sound that, that, that it's mentioned for. It's a low octave sound that is played throughout the entire movie and the whole purpose of it is actually to get your stomach turning. So yes, like I said, this is one of the most interesting films I've ever seen, one of the craziest films I've ever seen, and also, like I said, one of the roughest watches, mainly because I, I'm a gore hound. I love gore and stuff like that, but this mainly is such a hard film to watch because Monica Bellucci, our lead actress, she plays the young woman who ends up getting attacked in this film. There is a essay scene in this film that is almost about 10 minutes long, and there's literally no cuts. It's just a one take one shot of a hallway and you see the event happen and it just does not cut away. So it's like I said, it it's such an experimental type mood thing and it literally does kind of get your stomach turning and you just feel the anxiety, you feel the fear. And it's like I said, the way it's shot, it's just sitting there. The camera is not moving. There's no edits, nothing. There's no sound effects, no music like that. It's just, or no, there's sound effects, but no music or anything like that going on to distract you. Besides, like I said, that one low octave sound that's constantly playing, but you don't hear it over the stuff that's being said and the stuff that this guy says to her and the events is just very, very rough. Like I said, still hands down to this day, one of the roughest scenes that I've ever seen filmed in cinema. And I must give props and flowers to Monica Bellucci because she is an absolute gem, a fantastic actress. If you don't know her, she is in a ton of films. She was in the James Bond movie. She was in Spectre. She was in freaking um, Shoot 'Em Up. That was another fantastic film she was in. She was in Matrix Reloaded and Revolution. She's, she's been around the block. She knows how to act, and she's very good. And this film, just the scene, just to see what she goes through and the stuff that she is, and such a fantastic, beautiful actress, like I said, props to her. She definitely deserves her flowers. For me, in terms of his films, I've actually seen a good amount of his films now, like Climax and Irreversible and some of the other movies he's done. And for me, this is my favorite as it stands so far. This is only a film that I've watched twice. I've only seen this film twice. 
But this is one of those movies that stays with you. It sticks with you. You don't have to rewatch it over and over and over. Like I said, this isn't the purpose of this kind of movie. It's a movie, like I said, that is very experimental. And some directors, they do that stuff. That's what they're there for. They use cinema and they use movies to really test the limits of what they can put their audience through and all kinds of stuff. And yes, I know this movie isn't for everybody. That's why it's hard to recommend this movie. Like if that scene that I described you that is almost 10 minutes long, if that is too much for you and that's a trigger warning thing, do not, I repeat, do not watch this movie. This isn't going to be for you. But if you're like me, like I said, I'm one of those people that I'll give any movie a fair shake at least once. And like I said, watching this movie, I thought it was fantastic. Like this is easy for me, like an eight or nine out of 10 film. It's just not a film that I rewatch a lot or anything like that because it stays with you. It sticks with you and it makes you think. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is like, these are going to be some kind of crazy and hard topics. Like for me, I was just, this is what I was feeling. I don't know why or just some vibe, some way, like just me being like the way I am. I really wanted to do this extreme horror for the month of November. So and like I said, these last two weeks in November, these last three weeks in November, you're going to get a lot of different reviews for extreme thrillers, extreme horror, and like I said, some of the most grossest, gruesome stuff that I've ever watched. And I'm putting myself through it so you don't always have to, you know, like I said, I do recommend some of these films. I'm going to tell you as we go through these films which ones I totally hate or I think were disgusting or really not worth it compared to like what's in the content. But like I said, this, I wanted to start out with a film that I actually enjoy, that I give a positive rating to. It's just like I said, the content is very hard, very rough, and not for everybody, but this is very much an art house French film that I think is very fantastic and like I said Gaspar Noé he's he's a creative director he's got some style and he cares about the content that he puts out there please drop a like on the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I drop a video because like I said I'm going to be doing some of these reviews but also I want to start pretty soon my forgotten final girls project that's a project i've been planning for a long time and also there'll be some more courage the cowardly dog deep dives hitting the channel as well so you don't want to miss a thing but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out